Hey everybody, my name is Joe. I'm also Joe. Welcome back to Ness's Life. This is recap episode I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're covering the last five games we've done. Uh, how exciting is that? So we're just going to kick right into this. The first game up we got is Pushover. This was a puzzle game kind of reminiscent of Lemmings. You are moving dominoes around and knocking them down. Uh, there's a specific one that has to be knocked down last. It opens the exit door to get out of the level. There's quite a few sets of rules. Yeah, there are a lot of different dominoes that do different things. Just like Lemmings had different Lemmings uh, jobs that you could assign. This one has different ones. So like the three, the one with the three red stripes goes down last. The one with the one red stripe, I don't even remember what the hell it does. Uh, the red domino on the very end there doesn't move at all. The one red stripe rolls. So, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was an interesting puzzling game. Um, what do you think? I liked it, but like, I don't know. I didn't like it enough. Yeah. So I thought the graphics were okay. The sound was okay. The gameplay was also okay. I don't think this game is any worse than Lemmings, but I think Lemmings had a better personality, so to speak. I don't know. The Lemmings actually had personality, and there was lots of Lemmings doing different things at once, whereas mm. this, you just had this it's ant just dude the ant walking around. Blocks. Yeah. So, I don't think it was, was yeah. worse yeah. than Lemmings, but I just think Lemmings was better, uh, more entertaining to play. So, I gave this a thumbs down. Uh, I think I ended up giving this a thumbs up, Did actually. you? I didn't dislike it enough. Yeah. I felt like uh, if I was going to recommend a game, I would recommend Lemmings first, though. All right, next up, NFL football. I feel like you can see how bad it is just by looking at that. It is. Uh, frame skippy choppy doesn't play well. I did not care. It it would rotate the field depending on who had the ball and what was going on. And it, the playbook wasn't great. Um, I just did not enjoy it at all. Again, no music, as always. Uh, and yeah, it just played, the play was so poor, the control and the screen, the frame rate jump, uh, it just made it abysmal and we both really disliked it. It was not a good game. No. Double thumbs down on NFL football. Next up, California Games 2, uh, presented okay right there, except for the lady's like jacked up foot arm. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot about that. But what looked okay here was the end of what looked okay. It, this doesn't really qualify as a game, in my opinion. It was... A, it's a set of five mini games yeah. that don't control. Yes. And I don't mean it controls badly. They just, like, they, <laughs> they don't control. It controls very poorly. Uh, they did not do a great job programming, I guess. Jeez, here you're gonna see it in a second. Which one is this? I don't know. I hope it's bodyboarding because that was the worst. Oh no, hang gliding. hang gliding. Hang gliding was gliding pretty also terrible. Sucked. So you're gonna see whichever one of us is playing this particular clip. We're gonna hit the drink pretty quick. That oh, that must have been a good round actually. Oh, there's dropping some water balloons. Uh, dropping water balloons on targets. Yeah, trying. Hey, there's some points. And, and you're, you're out of air and into the ground. Boop. So, I'm sure there's some way to not do that, but we stalled every time we tried this thing. Every game controlled like garbage. The only one that didn't control absolutely trash was, the skateboard. was skateboarding. But so much of the course was tunnels, you couldn't do any tricks. You, in, in a 30-second course, you had maybe eight seconds to do tricks. Otherwise, you're stuck in these tubes where all you can do is go around it. And that was like it. So it was very poor. The music was okay. The sound was okay. The The color palettes were nice. The, I love bright color games. I think it looked alright. It, it looked okay, but just played like hot garbage. So big thumbs down for me on California games. Also a big thumbs down for me. Next up, Pro Quarterback, which was... It was a step up from NFL football. Definitely a step up from NFL football. Uh, it was an up-down, as you can see. Yep. More a la Madden, unlike the other one was a 
horizontal. The sprites were a lot easier to see. It was the, not any better frame wise though. No, the frame rate was just as bad, but I liked the bigger, chunkier sprites. Yeah. It was much easier to see who the hell had the ball and where you were going. Uh, you did get to see what plays each other picked in this one. It didn't have like the hidden playbook buttons. And it was much more as you can see, kamikaze, monster, instant. Like it was much more arcade themey instead of like true to football. So I felt like the game was a little bit more fun. Uh, certainly more fun than NFL football, and I think probably a little more fun than the Madden games as well. Look, for one, we actually scored in this game with consistency. Yeah, um, you did. You could. I, we did actually. I love that. I've got you down. Uh, we, we did actually score. We did actually complete passes. Yeah, you kept intercepting mine. I kept intercepting a lot. You kept missing, and then your computer would catch it. <laughs> And for some reason, it just let it have it, but you know, it never <laughs> let me do that. That sounds like the bitterness of a loser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lost like twenty-four to like, yeah, three. Uh, it was funny. I uh, look. It's not a good game. No. Uh, I st- I'm still gonna give it a thumbs down, but I will say it is probably the football game I have enjoyed the most thus far on the system. Um, which is really bad, actually. When you come out and you're like, again, no music, the yeah, sound is okay. This one that looks kind of garbage and doesn't sound good. Yeah. And Controls it's, questionably. It's, it's still, still the better. best. <laughs> Some of the others we played just because it was actually enjoyable, which makes a huge difference. Uh, so I gave Pro Quarterback a thumbs down in the end. I also gave it a thumbs down. Well, yes, you did. So two thumbs down for Pro Quarterback. Let's watch this for a few more seconds, see if I score. Isn't this the one that did the animation when you scored? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a score. Boom, spikes the ball. Does his little victory dance. Two guys. Was this one of the ones that you didn't really have to defend? Yes. You didn't really have to defend in this game because the computer did a baller job for you. Like, as soon as the ball was yeah, snapped... Unless you passed, oh, you, you're the, you were dead. You the, could not move. Yeah, we managed a couple of runs, but not much. And I mean, the, the computer-controlled defense would just obliterate the quarterback. It was hilarious. Uh, so, two thumbs down there. Last up, the Hunt for Red October, which is a weird take on a horizontal scrolling shoot 'em up You are... Well, it, arguably, this game is based on the Tom Clancy novel... Uh, Hunt for Red October. I think it was Tom Clancy. Uh, yeah, the Hunt for Red October movie. This was ideally based on the movie because uh, the cover of the game had Sean Connery on it. Now, unlike the movie where it was literally just you trying to get the sub to America and defect from Russia, you do that in the first mission, then every mission thereafter is basically go kill X, Y, and Z at the end of the level while everything in the game flies at you at 100 miles an hour trying to kill you just like any other shmup does. Uh, it did have these interesting cutscenes here, which you could use a super scope for. Yep. We did not use a super scope for it, and it controlled like hot garbage. Yeah, it sucks when you don't with have the crosshair. Super scope. Yeah, honestly, as slow firing as it is, I'm betting it's not much better with the super scope. But I could be totally wrong. Um, look, I, I think the game actually graphically it looked okay. Like I would agree. I think it looked fine. It didn't look any worse than any other shmup. I don't. It was think. pretty easy to tell what was what. Very much. Uh, it was interesting that unlike other shmups where you power up your weapons, this one you just had a bunch of different weapons. So you could shoot straight, you could shoot straight up, you could drop things down, or you can shoot things at like an angle or an arch, you know? You do have a limited amount of ammo for everything, though. If you run out, you're oh, game over. Yep. It's not um, one-hit kills. You have six sections on your ship, and as they take damage, they go from yellow to orange to red, and when everything's red, you die. Yep, and when um, you die, it's game over. It is game over, all uh, the way back to the beginning for you. Sorry, friends. The point of the Red October was its caterpillar drive, whatever, that made it silent. silent. And uh, you get yeah a limited amount of that in the bottom left. And, and in a game based on a movie, based on a stealth submarine... There you don't are get a lot either. no stealth missions. Like, there's no particular reason to be like, use stealth here and don't get detected. No. I like the little guys swimming. And some of them are dead bodies just floating up, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, again, I think the game looked okay. I think the sound and music was okay. The gameplay was average. Um, do you remember what we gave this? Thumbs down. We thumbed down yeah, it? Yeah, both of us did. 
Uh, I, I think we gave it a thumbs down because it was super ridiculously difficult. Yes. There, we did end up using cheats that allowed us to get uh, through it. Well, we didn't even finish help. it, did we? I think we did. Did we? I don't. I thought we didn't. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is we cheated and we still didn't enjoy it. Um, the game just throws so much at you. And you, because it's really of, hard to dodge as well. Well, yeah, because you have this long body that kind of and bobbles around. But all of your weapons uh, use momentum, so yep. And you have momentum. To aim. Uh, plus the limited ammunition, like without the cheats to avoid the like, you just run out of guns and then you die. And starting all the way back at the beginning, no continue, suck balls. So yeah, it just wasn't a fun shoot 'em up. It was interesting. I give them kudos for trying a bunch of different stuff, but it, it wasn't a fun shoot 'em up. So yeah, thumbs down for Red October, unfortunately. No. So that's it, guys. Uh, one up, one down for pushover. Two down, two down, two down, and two. Oh Jesus, it was another one of those weeks. Yeah. It was even worse because the last two weeks had one game that was two up, and then the rest of them were two, two down. down. God, we just ser- look at the boss here. It just. You come up to shoot it, and it launches a hundred projectiles at you, and it expects you to somehow survive. And we're cheating at this point. You can see we're at ninety-nine no, we percent aren't. death. No. Oh, that was the death. Yeah, that was oh. the death. <laughs> I think this is when we started cheating. Yeah, because we were like, "That's ridiculous! Like, how the hell are you supposed to even get there and hit that dude?" Um, yeah, unfortunately, so a, a bum week. But that was the end of our first one hundred fifty games, which is exciting. We're starting the next fifty on our walk towards two hundred. Hopefully, we'll see some better stuff. Um, first week, I know, contains a classic Qbert, uh, which will probably actually go live around the same time this video goes live. And then we got a couple fighting games, and I don't remember the other. But anyway, that's it, everybody. So thanks for joining us for this uh, recap episode and checking these games out with us. Have a good one. See you guys.